If you want me to beat the leather faces ass, somebody give me an old hell yeah. <laughs> so I got some things I've got to say tonight. Last year when I was here, I was a whole different person. And I started thinking, Columbia, South Carolina has one of the best towns in the world. And for all of that, I love each and every one of you. So referee, I'm telling you now, I'm a loner, and you better watch your back. And it goes for you too, announcer. I'll get that pretty soon. All day it done it. Welcome back to ringside, taking a look at bad boy Buck. Moving his way into the ring. Getting ready to take on a little letter face. Along with his manager, Big Dick Hertz. And Chris, bad boy Buck, acknowledging to the crowd that he's had a change in attitude. Well, I mean, uh, bad boy Buck, a consummate rule breaker in the midget scene. Oh my gosh. Little leather face there. I, I, this guy comes out of somewhere of the Te Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I believe. Uh, and who's that manager? Big Dick Hurts from uh, Moorhead, Kentucky. What's that all about? I think we got two just rejects here taking on Bad Boy Buck. He might be in a handicap match tonight, two on one. Well, I'll tell you what, little Leatherface, uh, uh, kind of a big midget, but uh, Bad Boy Buck's face the best. Oh my gosh, the ref already is uh, having a tough time here with Little Leatherface and Bad Boy Buck. Typical midgets, when midgets are in the ring, you can expect anything and everything to happen. You know, these guys are faster sometimes than uh, the big boys in the ring. Without a doubt, they bring a different style to the ring. And the official, after taking his lumps, is ready, I think, for our bail. Yeah, we're ready to go. One fall, 15-minute midgets action, and we still got the ladies to go. Mula against the exotic Jezebel in the big ladies' world title matchup. Uh, wonder, I mean, that'd be good trivia. When was the last time Mula wrestled in Columbia, South Carolina? Chris, I couldn't even tell you, but the lady, longtime WWF ladies' champion, many, many years ago at one time regarded as the NWA ladies' champion, She's done it all. Oh, my gosh. And uh, Bad Boy Buck there with a clothesline on Little Leatherface. And Bad Boy Buck trying to get some reaction from the crowd. And they're definitely behind him tonight. Little Leatherface calling for timeout. He's in the wrong sport. Without a doubt, there's no timeouts in wrestling. And Buck moving in with a chin lock. Uh, one thing about Bad Boy Buck, as we know, uh, I believe he did wrestle at the University of Iowa uh, with the Hawkeyes. And, oh, my God, they're going to run the ropes here. Bad Boy Buck, a master at running the ropes here. And, um, oh, no. Leatherface making a fool of himself somewhat here. And Chris, he looks somewhat winded. Buck has outsmarted him. <laughs> Buck tricked him into going outside the ring. Yeah. Unbelievable. Little Leatherface having his troubles there. And Bad Boy Buck, I think he's been around the midgets ring just a little bit longer than Little Leatherface. And, uh, this little leather face, he's calling for timeout. Hey, some of the news media, the fans still sticking around here as we move along into our wrestling program here. And uh, Bad Boy Buck, he's faced the likes of Joe Kidd and some others in midgets action. And uh, great attraction to watch wherever we take them. Without a doubt. And I'll tell you what, little leather face has got that apron off. And Chris, exactly, he's going to try to suffocate him or choke him. Uh, uh, well, that's just a desperation move there on the part of little leather face there. Uh, Probably know the way to get Bad Boy Buck off of his feet. Uh, Buck, a great technical amateur background, along with his professional knowledge in the ring. He just brings the complete package to the wrestling ring there. And uh, we don't know much about this little Leatherface guy. He just uh, resides from uh, the Lone Star State of Texas and uh, probably eats um, vittles for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right now he's going, he's, he, uh, speaking of lunch, he's got lunch on his hand right now. Oh, uh, talk about it. I think he's... Biting Bad Boy Buck's hand right off. Looks like this guy hasn't eaten in a few days. Uh, let me talk, talk about who's got the, his hands full the most. Uh, Artie, the referee in there, has got his hands obviously full the most out of anyone here. And these kids are having a great time. Just looking at all, most of them all standing up around uh, the backstop area here in Columbia. They're having a great time. And when you know when the kids are standing up and the fans are into the show and 
you just know they're having a great time with a great wrestling program. Everybody here enjoying New Dimension Wrestling. If NDW brings the top action here, and that's why they have continuously came back to Columbia, South Carolina. Another blatant show called by Little Leatherface here, and this referee uh, has could have disqualified Little Leatherface uh, several times over, but uh, keeps the match going. He's choking him with an apron and a tie and a, a lot of illegal tactics here. Somewhat of a pinfall attempt, I thought. Yeah, Little Leatherface looks like he's getting into some type of uh, arm holes here, and... Uh, Buck is definitely on the receiving end here. Little Leatherface has taken complete control of this midgets match. Looks like a key lock arm bar a blast from the past. We haven't seen that since the days of Abe Jacobs. Oh, de definitely so. And uh, Dan, as always, a uh, great thank you for coming down here to Columbia tonight yourself. And Kevin Kirby on the camera. Can't forget the cameraman behind the camera there. He's doing a great job. Chris, it's always a big, big pleasure for us to be here with NDW. That's where the action is. Well, Dan, you know, as right now, you know, NDW is a growing company, and we only come to the city of Columbia when we do come to town. But, hey, we've got plans of going to some other uh, towns and cities throughout the state of South Carolina. And uh, with your help and guidance and a couple other people, we're going to make that possible as we head into the new millennium. It's growing. It's growing and bigger and bigger and better. We were talking about it. It's so hot out here. You're, you're in short sleeves. I'm in short sleeves and shorts. Hey, we're we're styling out here. It's 85 degrees out here, and we are rocking and rolling right here in Columbia. A hot night in the Carolinas and a hot night for NDW as well. Dude, let me tell you, and uh, hey, uh, we got Ralph Harkey. What a great ring announcer. As, as you know, uh, I stepped down from the ring announcing ranks, doing some uh, commentary, color commentary, and uh, Ralph stepped into uh, my place and is doing a, a great job here. Hey, fans, if you want to know more about New Dimension Wrestling on the World Wide Web, get a pen and paper right now, www.ndwwrestling.com. All you need to know about New Dimension Wrestling on the World Wide Web, check it out. You won't be disappointed. I'm going to tell you, that's where you can find out all the gossip, all the upcoming events. You'll never know who's going to be in NDW, the Midgets, Moolah, Jimmy Valiant, Tully Blanchard, Ricky Nelson, everybody Thank and anybody. You. Even the likes of um, Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunge from the Public Enemy appeared for us. The Nasty Boys, Abdul the Butcher, Iron Sheik, One Man Gang, Craig Pittman. Gosh, I could sit here all night till the sun rises with all the talent that we have used and even the best. Hey, beside Mula, we use Malaya Hosaka, Debbie Combs, Bambi, Peggy Lee Leather, all the top lady wrestlers we use, the Foxy Lady included as well. And, uh, hey, we just bring the best talent there is available on the independent circuit to all these cities on the eastern seaboard. You're going to see local, exciting, hot, young talent, stars from the past and the present, midgets, ladies. There's a little bit of everything for everybody in NDW. And to show you the importance of NDW, Dan, you know, we've used um, Lodi before it became Lodi in WCW, Reese before it became Reese in WCW. The Hardy Boys that are in the WWF now, Matt and Jeff, have appeared with NDW several years back. We use all the power plant guys. We got some great up and coming stars like Venom, Champagne, Kid Dynamo. We've got Ricky Nelson, Rick Link. All these great guys have the opportunity of getting back on that national scene or just breaking into it. Without a doubt. And when NDW brings it to an arena or an outside stadium near you, get a ticket. Get out there and take a look at it. And right now, Bad Boy Buck taking it to Leatherface. Shoulder block takes wow. him down. Well, Buck just went airborne. Airborne for him is about a foot off the canvas, and uh, he really went airborne and laid it into Leatherface. And Leatherface feeling the effects of that shoulder block. Chris, it looks like both men are feeling the effects of the battle. Diamond cutter. Wow, and little Leatherface is out. Oh, no, cover here. One, two, he got him. <laughs>